Hey everybody, how's it going today, guys and gals, and welcome to some Stellaris. Now, it's not been a while since I have uploaded or anything, and the Medieval 2 Third Age Total War series kind of just abruptly ended. I apologize for that. I'm going to work on stop doing that, but some things happened. Focuses are going to be changed, are going to still be the same in strategy stuff, but we're going to get more stuff done. I had to decide some things and change up some scheduling stuff. But anyways, we are here on Stellaris. We are starting up a new story series with the United Earth Defense Force. We are, of course, humans. Well, we are, where is it? my government of ethics? We are a mit militarist, egalitarian, xenophile. So, we are militarists. We will defend ourselves if we need to be. We believe in equality of those within citizen service. And we do not mind aliens will be friendly with them as long as they don't attack us in my mind. We do have the mining guilds will increase our minerals, which is really good. We are going with a million ships. Now, I do apologize if I'm talking weird. I don't know what's going on. I bit the hell on my tongue the other day and it hurts. <laughs> but anyways, let us begin. Now, this is on the um, old laptop, so it may lag a little bit here and there. Ain't much I can do about that. But we are also fleeting and we're wasteful, but we are very we are intelligent and adaptive. Now, fleeting we should be able to fix with some research. That's not an issue. Now, we are done. We are going to do a small star, small 400 stars. And we're going to do a spiral to arm. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to do um, elliptical. You know, we're going in the solar system. I want to do elliptical. Empires. Let's jump it up to seven empires. No advanced AI. Not a fan of that. We do have one fallen empire and one marauder empire. We're going to keep that. And I think everything else is fine. We're not doing Iron Man mode. I'm not a big fan of Iron Man mode. I like being able to save. But yes, if there are some FPS issues, that's why we're on the old laptop. Hopefully we can fix that soon with our my income tax here and get the computer back up and running. All right. In the eon sense, the first primitive human communities looked shape in took shape in the meadows and the forest of Earth, our civilization has spread and prospered. Many wars were fought between early nation states and those who could not defend themselves disappeared or were absorbed by stronger neighbors. These endless wars fought, fostered strong marital tradition and to this day, bullshit is reserved for those who have proved willing to sacrifice themselves in defense of the states. Now after discovery of hyper, Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the United Earth Defense Force have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves finally within our grasp. So let's take over the universe now, shall we? Maybe, possibly. We never seem to do well in this game. <laughs> let's begin. Come strategos. I am there. Um no, no tutorial, thank you. Through. Goodbye. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, so let's look at our research real quick. Right off the bat, we could get more physics, some improved deflectors, or um, capacity overload for energy grid. We're going to go with improved, improved deflectors for now. Ooh, eco simulation, so we can increase our food here or increase hydroponics food. Let's... Mm, uh, we need, we're going to need a lot of food. We really are. Let's go with hydroponics. Now, this is complete vanilla, no mods, nothing for this campaign. Doesn't mean it won't happen later on. We could get basic strike, cr strike crafts for hangar bays, but we're not going to have hangar bays, at least on ships, for a while. We should be able to add it to star bases, but we're going to hold off on that, and I think we're going to go minerals. Now, where is my si lovely science vessel here? We should have fully surveyed this. 
Really? Science vessel. Where are you going? So we have to explore most of these systems first. And then survey. Explore. And survey. Again, it's been a while since I've played. I don't know if we have to do both. I could be wrong. Please let me know in the comment section if I am. Or if there's a benefit for doing both. So we're, that's what we're going to do there. Let's go ahead and unpause. And let's get to my construction ship. Okay, so we don't have the income to do everything, which makes sense. Construction ship. There you are, buddy. Let us... So we have 22 minerals at a time and only 3 energy. Do we have any extra energy around here? We do. So let's get some energy going. It costs us 75 minerals. That's fine. Oh, hello. We can't afford anything right now because I've already used it. But... All right, so we have decent food, decent mining, decent energy, and some city districts. We have housing available of eight and amenities of eight. We have no unemployment, no crime. Right this moment to start off. Let us look at our fleets. We went with the mammalian ships, as you can see. I love the way these look. Hmm. So let's actually, let's pause real quick and let's look at our ship designs, shall we? Mm. You know what? That is a pretty decent look. Oh, we got missile boats, interceptor, and picket ships. We have, and all we have are Corvette, regular Corvettes. We're not going to auto generate ships. Auto integrate Corvette, please. Let's go with ourselves a missile boat. Let's go with mass drivers instead of energy. Shall we? Beautiful. The Jackdaw. Beautiful. Save. And I could turn on auto upgrade. You know what we're going to? Yes. It's because I do want it to be ready to be upgraded if need be. Now, what is the difference between the interceptor and the picket? Let's see here. So the picket has one... All right, so we really don't need this right now. This is for if you have uh, fighters and missiles. All right, something I really absolutely don't need. So we're going to hold off. We're not going to make the picket ship right now. Some pause here. What's happening? We got our lovely construction ship working on getting us some more energy. Just fantastic. Where is our... Let's see what we got here. Okay, it's just a single star. And hopefully, uh, we can hurry up and find that uh, precursor race pretty quickly. What I could do is go ahead and get this up. So, oh no, we still can't. It costs way, way more. We're kind of fine right now. Food wise, how are we doing actually? Food, we got 13, 21 signs, 21, 21, 18, 11. Complete. Not bad. Beautiful. Let's go ahead. I love your construction ship. Wait. Mm -hmm. You're not being turned upgraded. into. Did you just get turned into gunships? All of you? No. Okay. Construction ship. Let's get you to go ahead. And get some more energy going. No, you already grabbed that. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and grab these minerals here. And then the science here. We gotta watch it because that is gonna suck down our minerals and energy. Ooh, we got more energy over here though. That for some reason we didn't grab. Oh no, that's engineering, not minerals. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> We're gonna speed it up here for a second. Nope. Jump it up to two. Ooh, that's gonna be a three a three star system. That's what that's gonna be. We do have the income. We could go ahead and build ourselves another science vessel. So hold on. You what are all your missions right now? Okay. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and build ourselves another science vessel. We'll survey, we'll survey a three star real quick as well. Just not much. Do, 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 do. Policies. Mm -hmm. Construction complete. Beautiful. All right. So science vessel, we actually need to go ahead and hire another scientist. Survey vessel. complete. All right, so nothing there actually. No, um, no cold stuff. Um, let's do it. Oh no, there is. Go ahead and research it. You are available. Beautiful. Let's get you to go ahead and explore and survey the system, please. Construction complete. So, uh, that's really not a, like, Bentiful place for us, you know. Evading like the real good. Oh, hello. All right, centuries ago, a group of radical priests and their devoted followers on Earth broke away from the established religions to form their own church. These extremists called themselves the Great Disciples and have been responsible for many. Uh, atrocities and acts of terror over the years. Although they have kept to a low profile in modern times, we recently learned that many of their agents have infiltrated our military. These renegades have secretly been diverting resources to the construction of a small fleet of starships in the hidden facility, facility on Earth. When their treachery was revealed, the cultists blasted into orbit on their own ships. Wait, what? Long updated. Hold up. Hold up. What is this crap all about? I say I have 111, where are we having 114? Ooh. Let's go for it. What is this shit? Oh, no. Oh, so they have the, ba the actual humanoid ships. Interesting. I've never had this happen before. So... <laughs> Let's go. Military action right away. Take him down, boys. A little bit of lag there. Blast away, boys. We we do have the help of the Starbase, so this is we're gonna win this fight either way. Cultist ship disabled. Our Valiant Space Forces have skillfully disabled a ship in the Cultist Armada. It is mostly intact and we are picking up faint life signs from inside the hull. Once we have eliminated all threats in the immediate vicinity, we should conduct a boarding operation to secure any survivors. They may be able to tell us more about the ultimate motives of the Grey Disciples. So this is something I have not done, done with or dealt with yet. So this is interesting. Long. Fire breaching charges. Alright, um, situation log.
So, what do we need for this? Do we need a military vessel? Do we need our fleet? What do we need for this? Do we need a science vessel? Hold on. Um... I remember so the duh. I love that look. Um, hmm. Doesn't say what we actually need here. Construction ship. Maybe you, buddy? I wonder if that's just something that happens over time, maybe. Oh, nice. We already have one. Okay, so we could go domination expansion. I always like going discovery. Dominant research speed is increased. Uh, depth and discovery traditions are increased. Alien Memorial. Alien Memorial. While conducting service scans of Bonnot Star 5, science vessel, uh, science officer Derek Winters and crew the ISS Einstein discovered, uh, not five, four, sorry. Appears to be an artificially recovered slab of rock covered in alien in alien writing, they have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet. And exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Long Fascinating. Updated. So let's go ahead and let us. Um, science ship needs to be present. Very well. All right, military ships in orbit. What's this have been said? All right. Let's go. Let's do that. First things first. Go ahead and deal with this, my friend. No, no, just yeah, just research that project, and then we'll um, continue get you to continue doing what you're doing earlier. Let's do a system at a time right now until it's we can have the auto thing. All right, so we need at least one military vessel over here. Jack, no, sir. Hey, sorry about that, guys. Oh, no, real quick, repair the ships and then we'll deal with that. All right, so. We can do that and we can get um, anomaly research speed increased by 20 right off the bat. Finishing effect, research speed by 10 in addition will unlock one ascension perk slot. Now, we could also go with the expansion, which would colony development speed increase that. Prosperity would mining station output increase by 10% or harmony or domination. Supremacy would increase our state capacity. We're going to go with discovery. I always like using discovery first. Repair the ships. Let's go ahead and... 
This would if we need one. We really don't need one right now because we don't have any crime. Luxury residence, that would increase that. But let's go ahead and get a stronghold for defense. You do need that now for defensive purposes in the, in the game. I don't know if that has changed in any new recent um, updates and everything, but... Human genealogists are particularly falling over themselves to publish their takes on the recent findings of alien life. As fevered storm in the scientific community has had some negative yet temporary impact on pursuits of other fields. Alrighty. Are we back to full health yet? Let's go. Now we are. Let's get into orbit. Um, into orbit. Really? Hold on. Can you please enter orbit over here? Why won't you enter orbit over here? Stop being idiots. There we go. So we should, since there is someone in orbit now, it should be doing it. Right? Yes. Research. Let's go. You, my good friends, let's get you some... We really can't do much with you right this moment. To get some more of this done. Oh, we got a partially habitable planet. Wet climate, not bad. We like more... Continental style world. It's all we can see right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much more you got left of this? Not very much. Let's go ahead and increase the speed here a little bit. Special project complete. All right. Though the survivors offered stiff resistance, our boarding party was able to rescue several prisoners from the disabled cultist starship. From them, we have learned that, the, that this conspiracy goes far deeper than we initially suspected. The agents of great disciples include several flag officers and high-ranking officials within our government. Mass arrests are being made on Earth, and all assets belonging to this cult have been seized. However, several of the starships they built in secret remain unaccounted for and the upper um, echelons of the cult's leadership have vanished. We picked up a faint ion trails leading to several um, outlining systems. We must pursue these terrorists. Oh no. All right. We have discovered recovered artifacts from the ancient civilization on Alpha Centauri B2. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of the stars roughly 6 million years ago. Based on the age of the artifacts, the aliens called themselves the Ute and appeared to have been very large and flat anthropod in Anglers. I can totally read people. It seems to see a single individual could reach a length of nearly 100 meters as an adult, as an adult and... It was apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three you to travel aboard the same starship. Long interesting. Very interesting. All right, so. Um, search the Alpha Centura, search the Nasus, and search Hiram. That's going to be worked on. Precursors. We're going to be working on that, and that's being worked on. All right. So we have two big storylines going on right now. You get the precursors that everyone gets almost for every uh, Star's place that you go through. And now this Grey Disciple. It's very, very interesting. Now, hold on. Real quick. Do I use... Does it have, does it have to be uh, military ships? No, I think it's just searching. Okay, my military vessels. Let's get you back over to Earth here. Let's get you home. And let's get my... Hmm. 
Like, even though this is not a very... Oh, alright. Science officer Derek Winters has managed to partially translate the alien moral to discover on Barnard Star 5. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the moral evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes a broad, in broad terms the collective technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of this galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads of technologies we had yet to consider. There's enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we'll need to need an orbital research facility to continue translation efforts. All right, so. Hello. Yep, all right. Um, instruction ship. We're going to go ahead and take that then. Go ahead and build a star base there. You are still going through this system. How large is the system? Um, uh, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Now, if I remember correctly, Alpha Centauri, yeah, has should have like two planets. Usually, have two planets that we could possibly inhabit. We're not going to colonize anytime soon, I don't think. We don't need to. Let's see here. <laughs> but yeah, this great disciple thing is something I've never actually dealt with. I have no idea what it's about. Construction complete. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and build ourselves our first jackdaw. Let's build two. Let's build two jackdaws there. There's so a couple of gunships. Increase our power and strength for anything we have to fight here soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good lord, you it, it's gonna take you a while there, my good sir. Just cause how large how large of an area it is. All right, so you're getting that done, and then we're going to probably, we got to get this research. How are we actually doing on our research right now? Mm -hmm. why, why can't I get to my research stuff? Ah, there, technology. Da -da -da. There are 54 months remaining, 58 months, and 88 months remaining. Construction complete. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and build ourselves a research station. And a mining station. You will hopefully be done with this pretty quick. Now, this is a dual binary. Yep. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. I love that. I love the way it looks. Surprisingly, nothing in Alpha yet. Oh, hello. Environmental hazard. Sublight speed reduction by 50%. That's why things are going a little bit... Oh, besides my computer. Just Anomaly being detected. Yes, research it. Research them all. Okay, so yeah. So we do have a habitable planet here. Look at how many freaking city districts there is. Oh my goodness. That would be a very large planet to inhabit. Um, predatory plants though. Habitability negative 10%. But we are adaptive so that should still work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this might be our first planet that we go to colonize. Alpha Centura may be our very first one. Outside of Earth. Okay, so no. So they're way out here, possibly. Hello. Pidius Point Line. Science officer Fyodor Savonovich has made some troubling finds on Alpha Centura 3. The, planet, the planet's me megaflora is not only widespread in 
Gorgangelian in proportion. I can Gorgantian in proportion, but also predatory. Various species of carnivorous plants rest patiently on its surface, releasing aromatic lures into the air and waiting for prey to come near. Sensitive tendrils on the terminus of the plants leaves, re leaves registered the approach of animals, resulting in the plants snapping shut around their head. Hopeless victims, hopeless prey I should say, which are left to be slowly corroded by digestive acids, which warns that any future colonists will have to steer clear of the predatory plants as they appear more than capable of trapping a lone adult human. Concerning, but still, we may take it. Beautiful. All right. Survey speed increased wouldn't be bad. As well, research alternatives increased by one. Let's go with survey speed first. Construction complete. Beautiful. We now control. And let's go ahead and... Hmm. One, go ahead and take control of this. Um, we now we now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Earth. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms, yes, a commendable initiative. And let's go ahead and if we can, we cannot build an outpost yet because it's not done yet. Ooh, not bad energy or minerals over here, but no possible um, planets to colonize. Goodness gracious. During its survey, paragraph three, the I. The ISS Einstein discovered a previously unknown strategic resource dubbed ZRO. It is an extremely rare aerosol of exotic particles that appears to have been deposited here through a meteor impact. But its true origin is a mystery. If I ingested by psych psych psychics, psychic gifted individuals, this aerosol should act as a very potent and potentially addictive drug that enhances PSI abilities. So, the main thing of us taking this, we would get this rare, this rare um, mineral. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and build a star base here. Let's get you to head this way. And you're still not done with Alpha Centaur? Good lord, this is a big, big planet. I mean, a big system right here. Holy hell. How much more? You okay, you just got those two things left. A broken remnants of a colossal space installation have been found near the Tiramak Black Hole. Its megastructure appears to have been once served as some kind of massive science nexus. Although the installation has obviously been abandoned for millennia, its hull is still reasonably, reasonably intact. Oh, we could actually get a hold of that. We could actually build this. Look at this. Oh, well, I am very happy that we've started out here. This is our start out. There's not far. There's already remnants of a megastructure we can rebuild at some point in time. That's beautiful. Never sing away. Yeah, if I randomly start singing, it's just because it's me. <laughs> Survey complete. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's go ahead and get you over this way. So mineral-wise in Alpha Centauri, there's only the six energy credits. But possible habitable world. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a construction ship. Put ourselves another one here.
We got some minerals, not bad. Get that energy up so we can have some nice amount of energy. We have 1.1k things of uh, minerals right now. We're not doing bad there. Ooh, hello. Um, let us to increase our production for uh, technologies. This would help prevent crime. Luxury and residence. Let's go with technology right now. Food is 12. Let's go ahead and build another one of these. So we could go ahead and colonize. Construction this place. complete. Can only colonize plants inside our borders. Okay, no problem. Construction ship. Why can't I? Oh, we're lacking. Damn it. We're lacking 20. All right. No big deal. No big deal. Ooh, some science and minerals over there. You are getting work started on that. Construction ship, you'll be starting something here pretty soon. Construction mm -hmm. complete. Beautifully done. Survey Thank you. Complete. For now, let's get the energy. Let's get our energy up. Building my session there for energy output. Einstein, you're done. All right, let us send you this way. Go survey that system. And let's get this new construction ship. So we should have enough now, I want to say. We do. Takes all that we have, but we need this. Need this so we can get ready to colonize the planet. Beautiful, gaining levels all over the place. Situation log. Exit iron trails. Uh, well, we, hold on, we just finished that, didn't we? Oh, or do I guess I do probably have to send a fleet. So let's send a fleet over this way. Yep. Battle stations. Construction complete. Get out of here. Fleet is moving in. How much to the Baron World? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. your power sessions. Engaging Surprised it didn't pop up before. That's weird. Oh, I love this. Take him down, boys. Trying to flee. Survey complete. Very nice. Research it. A construction ship. Get back to work. Let's go. Build me a star base there. You are none there. No, do me a favor. Oh, we can't. Okay. 
get you guys back over to repair. Oh, we nearly lost a ship. Holy hell. So five bucks says there will be remnants in each and every one of these. So we took out them. That situation has been dealt with. Beautiful. And let us go ahead now. Data bank links research station output increased by 10%. Research our turns increased by one. We're going to go with the research outposts. Right off the bat there. Oh, and a potentially habitable planet is a tundra world, though. That's all it is. All right. Mm -hmm. Nerfus Pride, an armed vessel discovered in the orbit of MF-3452 is an abandoned military spacecraft called Nerfus Pride. Its light frame and invasion hard hardware suggests it was built for long-distance patrol mission, but has since been retrofitted into a long-range stealth bomber. Records of the ship's comms reveal it was hijacked by a rebel guerrilla on its way to perform a strike against it. A secret complex called the Zinvon Labs, said to hold a weapon so powerful it could win them the war. When they were shot down, we have extracted the ship's destination from its navigational drive. Where is this at? Oh, nice. Oh, that went to red. Construction complete. Are you gonna lie? You're doing the thing Technology right now. Discovered. Um, or Ray, let's do it. Complete. Can you increase your? Possible had one. Shoot for that mega structure. Let's head on this way. Now we should be able to colonize Alpha Centura. Right. Sorry about that word cut, guys. Something happened. I'm not sure what happened there. And we shall leave it as Alpha Centura now. For now. Technology discovered. Are we. Yeah, so we should be in the process of getting ready to colonize. Beautiful. All right. New tracking techniques will allow us to uh, test. Beautiful. New research. Um, be increased holes. Improved hole or mineral purification. Let's do improved hole for now. So, guys, as we get ready to colonize Alpha Centura 3, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here of part one. A... Or Sins of the Solar Empire with the with the Star Wars mod. But until then, guys, guys, thank you so much for coming by and hanging out. Please leave a like or dislike depending on what you think of the video. And comment down below. And until next time, I'll see all the people on the next stream or video. Bye, everybody.